Hi, this is Mighty John, the record guy from MoneyMusic.com, and welcome to our second episode of Money Music, where you'll learn the value of your records. Each episode, we will feature 10 records each worth up to $100 or more. The vault is open, so let's take a look. Number 10. What smash hit by Elvis Presley can get you $150? The biggest two-sided hit in the iconic career of Elvis was Don't Be Cruel with Hound Dog on the flip side. The 45 on RCA is worth up to $50, but the picture sleeve by itself is worth up to $100, making the complete package worth up to $150. Number 9. What number one billboard hit by the Rolling Stones is worth up to $300? In 1965, the Rolling Stones had one of their greatest hits with I Can't Get No Satisfaction. The guitar riff by Keith Richards is considered to be one of the great hooks of all time. The song was their first number one billboard Hot 100 hit. Released on London Records, the 45 worth up to $15 might not give you much satisfaction, but if you have the picture sleeve that came with the record, <laughs> you will be satisfied at the tune of up to $300. Number 8. What record featured in the hit movie Dirty Dancing is worth up to $300? Do You Love Me? Now That I Can Dance by The Contours is one of those rare singles that became a hit twice reaching number three in 1962 and number 11 in 1988, thanks to being included in the soundtrack for the movie Dirty Dancing. So where's the money? It's for the original issue on the Gordy record label for the album Do You Love Me? The value is now up to $300. Number seven. Which Bob Dylan 45 can sell today for up to $350? Positively, 4th Street by Bob Dylan was a top 10 hit in 1965, and one of those rare occasions where the words in the title are never mentioned in the song. Dylan once lived on 4th Street in Manhattan. He also attended the University of Minnesota. That too was on 4th Street in Minneapolis. But who really knows the meaning of the title? After all, it's Bob Dylan. The 45 released on Columbia Records is worth up to $125 with picture sleeve and record on black vinyl, and up to $350 with its picture sleeve and record on red vinyl. Number six, what 45 by Annette can sell for over $400 today? Annette Funicello was the heartthrob of every teenage boy in the late 50s and early 60s. She was also a hit-making machine with songs like Tall Paul and First Name Initial. Ten of her records are worth up to $100 or more, like Teenage Wedding. Released by Buena Vista Records in 1963, the single is worth up to $75. Add up to another $400 for the picture sleeve as seen here. Number five, what Motown classic can fetch $400 today? In 1961, the Marvelettes gave Motown their first number one record with Please, Mr. Postman. The 45 with picture sleeve is worth up to $100. The album can have two different values depending on the color of the record label. A yellow label can make the album worth up to $250. A white label, as seen here, can jump the value up to $400. Number four, what makes Alice Cooper's Schools Out album worth up to $500? Alice Cooper, a pioneer of shock rock, chopped up rubber dolls and simulated executions on stage while draping a live boa constrictor around his neck. He is entertaining. In 1972, he released Schools Out, his first major hit, the 45 worth no more than $10. The album, released by Warner Brothers, came with paper panties. But that's only part of what makes it collectible. The big value depends on the back cover of the album. If the song titles are listed on the back, it's worth up to $100 with the paper panties. If the back cover does not list titles, then hold on to your panties. It can get you $500 today. Number three. 
what classic instrumental by The Ventures is worth up to $1,000? The Ventures are often considered to be a surf music band. But they were around a long time before surf music captured the nation's interest in the early 60s. The Ventures are probably best known for two of their hits, Hawaii Five-0 and Walk Don't Run. Most copies of Walk Don't Run can be found on Dalton Records and worth up to $40. But if you have or find a copy on Blue Horizon Records, then don't walk, run to pick it up. A copy is worth up to $1,000 today. Number two. Jim Reeves was a country music superstar. Which of his albums is worth up to $1,200 today? Jim Reeves, often referred to as Gentleman Jim, was one of the most successful and popular country stars of all time, with hits crossing over to the pop charts. However, baseball was his first love, but after severing his sciatic nerve, his prospects of becoming a pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals ended. His greatest hit came in 1959 with He'll Have to Go. The He'll Have to Go album on RCA is worth up to $25. But his first album, Jim Reeves Sings, on Abbott Records 1956, can sell for $1,200 today. Number one, What 45 by the Supremes is worth up to $2,500. Before the Supremes became household names with hits like Where Did Our Love Go, Baby Love, and stop in the name of love the ladies released a few lesser known singles that can be quite valuable today among them is their 1962 45 your heart belongs to me issued by motown the 45 is worth up to 350 dollars and the picture sleeve by itself as shown here is worth up to 2500 dollars today For more information on what your records are worth, please visit our website, moneymusic.com. 